Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. I have not a clue how Mrs. Claus would sound, but I'm assuming it's probably not like a tomboy. I feel like she would have a softer voice. Kind, slightly creepy, make you wonder why someone's so nice. Just a sweet old lady. If you want a less sweet old lady, you can check out Old Lady Lex, which I will link in the corner, which is also an old age makeup, but not quite as sweet. As always, all the products I use take me listed somewhere around the video. Please also do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you are still subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. Also, leave your requests below of what you guys would like to see this holiday season in regards to the makeup on my face or body. Character. I'm starting off by adding the main thing to Mrs. Claus, which is all the wrinkles on her face, mainly because I really enjoy being an old person. Anytime I am in older makeup, I am in it all day long. Anyways, I've already applied foundation to my face and all the wrinkles that I'm going to be applying are going to be applied with regular makeup for your eyebrows. I much prefer to use this over body paint when I'm creating wrinkles just for the fact that it's so easy to blend out with just tapping your finger on your face. It'd be a little difficult to describe each and every wrinkle as I'm going along considering I am just going all over the place and randomly making faces and also filling in the natural wrinkles that I have. So the easiest way to explain how to fill in your wrinkles would actually be just that, which is to fill in the wrinkles that you naturally have. On top of that, you do want to be cautious though that you don't want to make angry faces because we're going to assume that Mrs. Claus has had a pretty sick life, you know, living with Santa. She's not a miserable old woman, she's happy. So definitely be sure not to furrow your brows too much and fill in those wrinkles because then you're going to look like a very crabby Mrs. Claus. When doing old age makeup, also be conscious of the fact that our faces do sink in as we get older. I didn't want to age her too much, so I didn't add too many dark circles or things around her face, but I was sure to take the product and hollow out a little bit underneath my eyes as well as my temples and underneath my cheekbones. I also want to make sure that she has some pretty good smile lines in there, because like we said, Mrs. Claus is happy. I also added some freckling and some age spots using a pencil product for your brows instead of the gel. I then filled in my eyebrows white using body paint, but you can also use white eyeliner. Just to get my wrinkles to pop a little more, I added some highlight using a lighter color foundation. I was sure to highlight above majority of the wrinkles as well as above my eyebrows and lighten up underneath my eyes just a smidge. Sorry to the children that are watching this, that's probably terrifying. I'm also making sure to drag my eyeliner down a little bit so that way my eyes do point down since they naturally point up and when you do drag them down, you're gonna look a little older. Apply a good amount of blush to those rosy cheeks. Being a sweet old lady is the difference between being Mrs. Claus and being What? Then you better not be going on the tube! I'm telling you, Santa Claus with his reindeer on my roof! But that's a whole separate video. For her outfit, I first put a base coat of white body paint and then did everything else surrounding in red body paint. I gave her both an apron and a collar. Using gray and black eyeshadows, I'm then shading the middle and between the apron and the collar, as well as separating the collar from the apron. I also wanted to give her apron a playful pattern because I thought it looked too plain as of right now since you're not seeing the entire outfit. So I used red body paint, a new detail brush, and green body paint to create a pattern. I also use this to create little Christmas berries on her collar. Not actually sure what a Christmas berry is, but I see them all the time. Going back with the gray eyeshadow, I'm then just shading around the collar to separate it from my body, as well as adding some more shading to the collar, such as wrinkles.